Hey everyone, welcome into another episode of American Truck Simulator. Hope you guys are doing well. Alright, so, job wise, where are we going? What we're going to do, we're going to go, where are we in? Grand Canyon. So we're going to go do a mixed tank uh, from Grand Canyon to Winnemucca. It's a 14 hours, 10 minute road trip from one uh, Kiwi to the other. Again, we're going to Winnemucca, Nevada. So we're gonna get on our way over to, oh, we gotta get, put her in gear first. We're gonna, oh, actually, I'd be curious, we're probably gonna run into a little bit of a weird snag, cause we'll have a little bit of the road Oh no, because that's where we went to, so never mind. We'll be alright. Alright. Okay. Again, hope you guys are doing well. I know I sure am. Always great to get back in the rig every so often. Makes it fun indeed. <coughs> I apologize for the random bit of quiet noise. I, uh, during mid-recording, I ended up sneezing. So, gotta love when that happens, right? Should watch my speed. Really don't want to get, you know, speed ticket if I don't have to. Gas-wise, I've got 1,500 miles. We're good. And this way, I can kind of get going, I guess. Um, in the sense of being able to, oh yeah, see, I guess I could have went that other way. Being I'm going to Kiwa now, easily could have, uh, but that's all right. We'll get back up this way. It's really unfortunate though that that store didn't have anything. We're here to pick up our mixed tank. All right, get the four ways on. There it is. All right, let's get back up here. Break and let's get hooked up here. Shut off the four ways. All right, and we are set to get on our way again. We've got the mixed tank, 15,400 pounds, so very light load. Again, going up to Winnemucca, it is urgent, so we of course are going to have to really get on the road here. Hopefully, find a place to sleep here fairly quickly. Um, as we will need it. But, you know, even like with going on this, this trip, this one might actually go some different roads we haven't been on yet. So that'll be nice. Again, Winnebuck is they need it by Tuesday at 1. It's a, what, 14 hour trek what it's shown here so expecting it by 151 Tuesday we're lucky that's when they need it by I mean we're projected Monday at noon so I'd assume Monday night 14 hours maybe it just depends on how far we get before we see the next the first our first um, 
um, rest stop, if you will. Like, yes, my guy has not been yawning yet, but I know it's coming up soon, so there's not really a reason for overdoing it, you could say. I mean, it's already 10. If I really wanted to get them back on a normal sleep schedule, if you will, I could already already do it. But well, these are some these are some tight curves here. Someone's right on my tail, rightfully so, though. Yep, and there comes the first yawn. For only 15,000 pounds, this truck's got some power. I mean, I didn't think I was going that fast around the curves. What do the curves say? Well, I guess they do say 35, and I'm going like 50, hoping to uh, not wreck anything. So, I guess, yeah, and I am in a semi, so I should know better. is definitely, you know, it's different than the vehicle. They can kind of handle the sharp turns, if you will. Semis, not as much. See, now this is where it's tempting to keep going. But there is parking right here. So it's almost like a does a person stop and sleep for a bit? I'm going to. Only because I know my guy is tired. He just yawned again anyways. Just be done. Stop the engine. Parking brake. Alright. And let's get some sleep. Not too bad. All right, we're gonna get the lights already shut off. Parking brake released, and let's let's get on our way. 9:52. So theoretically, it'll be closed that we could get there um, today. Still, probably should actually be careful with that. All right. Okay. Oh, stoplight right there. Look at that nice rig. Peterbilt 389. Oh, I was thinking we had the green already. Is it just turned? Oh, there it went. All right, now we can get back on it. Let's see here. Oh, and they got nice. Oh, I guess I could have went to that gas station. Then I would have gotten that parking done. I just assumed it was like the interstate, which I should have known better. Oh, no. Maybe they got to stop. They must have. That makes sense, actually. Okay, getting the... And the nice thing with this, again, we're going to Nevada, so... They're like Arizona, meaning that we can go at a faster clip, if you will, with speeds. So that's that's like that was the other part of taking it because I saw the shortest was somewhere in California. But then I'm like, I really don't want to go 55 miles an hour again. Or I guess 60 because you get five over, but still. Here, we're already 
of 75, so I can go 80. And with a with a 15,000 pound weight, or 15,400 pound load, I mean, that'll take nothing to get up to that speed, if you will. Just uh, just cruising, set the cruise to 80. And now we can just cruise, right? Hit the open road, Interstate 40. Getting us into Nevada. Again, 947, we went to bed about 1020 uh, Sunday night. So we theoretically, they need it by 151 or 321 p.m. Like a very tight window, if you will. And we should easily get it the day before to them. So I'm here for it. Now, again, you know, it could change, I guess, in the sense that we could have road construction, which is very possible. Or, you know, could find something that, like, if the guy gets tired and there's a place to really sleep close by, maybe just if you're half hour out, hour out, you go, okay, we'll just sleep and get get it there the same day just you know different time frame because really you're like if you can get it there the next day the nice part about that is then you basically made what is it 38 grand almost thirty nine thousand dollars in a basically a one-day trip which would be really nice because otherwise you're splitting thirty eight thousand between two days whereas here you're like well you know, easily pays for the loan payment, and then you can just keep going. So, but we will see. You know, that's another one. I guess I haven't just seen the tanker next to us. I haven't done a tank, uh, um, I guess, load in a while. Contract. It's even like I, you know, I bought that nice paid all that money for that nice uh, tanker rig. Used it, what, twice? For sure once. Kind of like, man, I should just sell it. Or, like I said, I got new hired people and put it on theirs. But I guess I haven't. I think I just had hired them. So I'm waiting to see if I get a, get a notification that, oh yeah, they've done some trips or, or what. They don't have a feeling that it somehow the Think broke, if you will. Which is, you know, would suck, but I'm not restarting. Okay. So, yeah, again, hope you're well. I'm going to Winnemucca to the other Kiwit, dropping off this tanker. Mixed tank, I guess. Uh, getting that dropped off. Again, it's an urgent delivery. That's why it's $38,000. It was like. 48 bucks a mile or 46 bucks a mile somewhere in there so I mean making a good good killing but it's urgent right and that's the thing is if I can I think I'll level up to level 23 after this one and so again with longer loads a you get XP faster but then you also are able to um, you know I can kind of get these urgent my urgent skill up higher I think the last one I'm going to do, not think, I know, is going to be the fuel economy one. Where I'm just like, ah, I'll just wait to get better fuel until the very end. Because at that point, like, it's really the, the only reason, the only way it really helps you is that, sure, you can do longer trips, uh, or you can do maybe more trips with one tank of gas. But at the end of the day, I'm like, well, if I'm going to get more... Um, like a skills bonus by having, you know, higher urgent skill level or, you know, high value, whatever the case might be, I'm going to stick to that. Like, I just am. Because that's going to get me X more XP and, frankly, I think, you know, kind of helps give you a little bit more money. Um, but I for sure know for XP it helps you with that in that regard. So, and yes, I do know that it's 65 and I am totally going to be speeding through this mainly because I'm hoping that, no, still says 65 oh. do you gotta 
start getting over. Over again. Is this car gonna let me in? They are. I should have known because we aren't going to LA, so. Do we have the green? I sure hope so. At least get these. Please tell me everyone else is going. I can sneak by actually. I'll wait till this explorer goes through. Okay. Which, you know, hey, I'm not gonna complain. I'll, I'll I'll get through it earlier. I forget they get that's really like when you're not in those lanes and they have a, a left turn first. They can have those all the time. And with not having a vehicle in front of me right now, knowing that it is going to um, merge lanes here, I think shortly. This will this part of it's going to be nice. I think it merges at some point, so. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. 10 hours, 42 minutes, 600 miles to go. We've got like 900 miles left in the tank for distance for gas. So, well, 300 miles to go. It will be, it will be good. Again, we're slowly getting back up there. Now I think we're kind of, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, now we're snaking up Interstate 93 or Highway 93. Going through here, that'll then Take us into Nevada here soon ish. Oh. Give us up to 70. There we go. And for that matter, just get rid of this for now. See, now I wonder if that's what causes the. Oh, because I feel like that wouldn't make sense why not having this up. Because the loan payment still goes through. It's just odd to me that um, it doesn't really show me hired people but that's fine by the time we get there I'll look because we'll have a full day even if we sleep quick just to look if they still haven't done one then obviously there's a glitch but that's fine I guess I'll just have drivers and sitting in trucks that don't move and if they don't I guess and that's the thing if I'm not getting charged for them not finding a load then frankly I'm okay it would just be very unfortunate because, you know, why even upgrade all of these garages when I could have drivers and I can't even put money through it? So it's like I wouldn't, un until it got worked out, I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm not going to, uh, you know, get a garage in Tucson or something. When then it'll say, oh yeah, how much money are they bring bringing in? Nothing. And then it's just me bringing in all of the money. So... Yeah, it may be. So I was looking to get the highest Western star. You have to be a level 25 is when you unlock it. So being I'm almost at 23 after this load, I will be 23. That might be like my gift, if you will, to myself is once I get to 25, give me a Western star. And then it'll maybe I'll kind of do almost like a spruced up one, kind of give it a different color patterns or whatever and um, you know I'll do that so then um, that would be kind of you know specialty ones maybe I'll get it almost like a theme to it so then we'll do different uh, different themes if you will on it uh, let's see here oh I didn't think I was going even I thought I was like speeding pretty bad that's why I had slowed her down a bit you know didn't want to get pulled over for speeding so but I guess now we're going up a hill okay come on there's the loan installment okay 
I guess it would be closer to the end of the day before I get the uh, the notification that like, hey, your driver just did this. And it's tough because I, you know, both drivers I hired are like 1.7 starting off, which is pretty good because the other ones were all like 0 .08, so. close to Vegas. Yep. There's the Ferris wheel. Back up to 65. here so again we're at nine hours 500 miles to go nine under 930 now it was like 947 I think originally so I mean we're making good time now however I feel like this has happened before we're making really really good time and then like there's an exit or uh, a road I'm supposed to stay on and oh it's closed for whatever reason and I just I have a weird feeling that might happen um, on this one so we'll see I will say that we are going to continue staying uh, probably in Nevada and Arizona because I do want to get the other two page Arizona and then um, Ehrenberg are the two cities that are left for not only just for Arizona for sure but then also just for all of them as a whole that is the last one that is um, that's needed so if I can get um, that one those two done then all of the cities in the tri-state are complete and then it's just doing more uh, you know uncovering or discovering more roads and getting more um, more loads done from, from different uh, different areas different companies getting those kind of knocked out as I go All right so I'm not going 80 75 it'll work though right doing good time again kind of killing it in that regard just moving moving right along um, and surprisingly enough traffic hasn't been that bad now it helps for so maybe we won't uncover any roads or discover any new ones because we're probably taking all of we might have done this whole I mean we've driven this before so I'm sure it's nothing um, new in that regard which it's fine I mean we're gonna get a nice payday it's going to help in that regard getting um, more money and just frankly saving up more money um, because again, part of it, it's like, well, should I just pay off what's left of my loan? But then I'm like, well, I do want to do one loan where I just, you know, pay off each day, like the whole thing, just to see if that's an achievement. And I mean, I could look at the achievements and see if it is one, because you could do it and it doesn't do anything. But I'm like, well, you know, in the long run, what's better? Is it better to just pay the 5,800 bucks every day? Or just say, all right, I'll pay off the 200000 or whatever, and then everything stays the same. But it's more so like, well, if all of a sudden I take out more money to do, um, you know, another loan to unlock more stuff, well, then what was the point of that? So, as long as I've got money going in, I, I don't know. Part of me even wants to upgrade the garage another level. But yet, part of me doesn't, especially if this driver glitch happens. Like, I may have to uninstall the mods and then fire them and then hire new ones to see 
um, if that fixes the issue. Because if it does, then, you know, one of the mods must be, um, or must have caused the issue, which is a possibility. They kind of do say that mods can break it, if you will. Let's see here. Yep, now this is where I'll get slower. Like already. And we had to drop a lot. Going from 70 to 40. And like the speed limit 70. So part of me is like, okay, what are we doing here? Like, it would be nice to keep, you know, moving along, if you will, but also understand that that's not always the case. <laughs> 